Hello, I'm James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. And this is going to be the last in the series of videos on cadences. And I want to talk about the difference between conclusive and inconclusive cadences. Conclusive, inconclusive. This is going to be important when we get into our next territory, which is the phrase structure. Now, conclusive cadences, the most conclusive cadence, I'm going to put it all the way over here on the left side, is the PAC. In fact, all ACs can be considered conclusive. The IAC, I'm going to actually put here in the middle because it's usually considered conclusive, but depending on the situation, it can be inconclusive as well. Where it would be inconclusive, excuse me, inconclusive is if we have two phrases, the first ending with an IAC and the second ending with a PAC. So we have a weak, uh, weak cadence followed by a strong cadence. But if you had an HC followed by an IAC, that is going to be considered conclusive because the HC is one of the more inconclusive cadences. The DC is considered inconclusive. The PC is considered conclusive, but not as much as the PAC. So we see sort of an order of importance here. We have the PAC, the PC is our conclusives. IAC is sort of a hybrid that can be either. And then the ones that are undoubtedly inconclusive are the HC and the DC. This is gonna be really important because remember cadences terminate phrases and the next series of videos is going to cover phrase structure and form. So it's really important that we know the difference between conclusive and inconclusive cadences. Thank you.